Happy day, happy day. I hope you are having a wonderful morning. And um, it is nine o'clock here in the mountains of beautiful Idaho. Um, and it's time for some slow flow. And I think we're gonna start on the mat today in just a comfortable seated position. And we're gonna really take it slow. We're gonna start with the neck and then bring the spine in and then bring the entire body in. How does that sound? So we've got, I've got Chief here with me as usual to join us in our fun flow. And um, so yeah, let's, let's get on the mat. So grab your mat. I don't teach with any props during this class at all. So if you've got some that you'd like to use, you can go ahead and grab those. Otherwise, let's just um, listen to your body, have fun, and breathe. Only three rules in my class. Okay. I just am noticing it's like I've got shadow on this side and light on this side, which is interesting because this is my left side, which is the side of the moon and the darkness. And this is the left side or the right side, the masculine and the sun. It's kind of cool how the light's shining on me like that. Anyway. I'm rambling here. All right, have a great class. Listen to your body, breathe. I'll be constantly reminding you to do both of those, but most importantly, have fun. All right. here so let's let's take a moment to ground ourselves first so sitting here in a nice upright position lengthening through the physical spine as well as the energetic spine allowing the, the chakra system our energy system to get get aligned and so it can begin balancing as we practice today so let's just close our eyes for a moment if you're not comfortable doing that just gaze softly down at the floor Let's take a couple of deep breaths in and exhaling completely. And just feel yourself right here, right now. This is the moment. Really take a moment to connect with the breath. Notice what happens if you put a slight smile on your face, how tension in the face seems to re just relax a little bit. <clears throat> Just really taking a moment to ground yourself with the breath. And drop, drop the chin to the chest. Chin up. to the left shoulder, and yes, I know I'm dropping my right ear. I'm used to doing this as a mirror. <sighs> Just breathe in here. I'm so happy to be on my mat this morning. And I can be all the way up and over. Just dropping and feeling the breath, massaging the muscles. Let's take the chin over the left shoulder. Mm -hmm. 
one and all the way around to the opposite side. Breathing here. And come back to center. Let's again drop the chin to the chest. And we're going to imagine that chin is a drawing tool, and we're going to draw a very large, slow circle in front of the face. So really make that circle as big as possible. Who else out there has Rice Krispie Net going on? Switch directions when you've done one direction. I got that snap, crackle, pop in my neck this morning. All the way around. And then coming right back up, lengthening through the crown of the head. So we're not only lengthening through the physical spine as we practice, but we're lengthening and giving space to that energetic space as well. So most of my classes, you'll hear me talk about creating space in the body so we can have space outside the body. And this is, this is one of my core teachings. It's, it's especially on the mat. This is our opportunity to really create space in the body. All right, let's place the hands on the mat in front of us and just gently walk those hands forward. Just coming down as far as you can comfortably. Just breathing into the hips. You can go all the way down, that's great. I kind of like to rock back and forth very mindfully. Just give me a nice stretch. It stretches me right over the kidneys. Feels super good. Come here, puppy. That's, that's my dog bird. And come back up. We joke in my family. I've got the dog bird. My son has a bird dog. Ha. All right, let's switch how we have those legs crossed for balance. Chi push up. And so we put, you switch. So whichever one was in front is now in back. And we're walking those hands forward again. Shh and breathe into the hips. Notice any different sensations you might feel. More than likely, this is the, the opposite way you normally sit. You silly little puppy. You silly little puppy. And breathing here. Slowly come back up. <clears throat> Take the hands behind the back. Bring the shoulder blades together. We're going to push down into the mat with the hands. Shoulder blades together. Lift the heart. Lift the chin. And breathe into the front side of the body. Breathing here. Beginning to open up the front side of the body. And release the chin forward. Shoulders come back over the hips. Let's place that right hand down or left hand down, right hand up. Whichever way, we're going to be doing both sides. So used to mirroring this sequence. And breathe here. Using that supporting arm to take you deeper or not so deep. Moving the shoulder and elbow forward and back. You want to find just that, that right spot, that spot that just is like, ah, that's where I want to be right now. And then take a few breaths there. And switch sides. Coming over, adjusting, finding that sweet spot. Breathing here. So remembering all we're doing here is organizing the body into various positions and breathing. That's it. That's all we're doing. And come on back up, right hand onto the left knee, inhale tall, and exhale and gently twist. <clears throat> Using that breath, take it deeper into the twist. And release, coming all the way around to the other side, inhale tall, exhale and gently twist. find our way onto our hands and knees.
these now. So we're gonna find that tabletop position, hands and knees. We want to make sure those knees are directly underneath the hips, wrists are directly underneath the shoulders. And we connect with the breath and as we inhale, let's arch the back, lift the sit bones and the chin up. As we exhale, round the spine, tucking everything in. So find your own natural breath rhythm. Inhaling and exhaling here. Cat-cow pose. Feeling that, that vinyasa, which means in Sanskrit means the marriage between the breath and the movement. The connection there. So really feel that connection. Because we'll be using the breath to guide us through the rest of our class this morning. And Leading the breath cycle, you're currently on. Coming back to a neutral position. <clears throat> We're going to tuck the toes under, press back to downward facing dog. And we're going to slowly walk the dog. So as you're looking back at your feet, you want to make sure those feet are about hip distance apart. If you can imagine two fists right between your feet, that's hip distance. Slowly pressing and lifting alternate heels, just waking up the body. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. And both heels reach toward the mat, whether or not they touch, that's a different story. <coughs> Opening the shoulders, pushing with the upper body. Relaxing the head and neck. take a break. Just drop down into child's pose, which is both knees wide, big toes kissing, forehead to the floor. I call this the break room, so anytime you need a break, you can drop right there. <sighs> On your exhale, step both feet back to the front of the mat. Make sure you're stepping all the way back. <laughs> Inhale, half belly lift. Exhale, forward fold. Soften the knees, spread your wings. Inhale, come all the way up. And exhale, both hands to the heart. All right, inhale, both arms come up. Soften the knees, exhale, forward fold. 
Take a deep inhale, lengthen through the spine. Exhale, both feet step back. Again, find the power in that plank. Feel that core power and lower down, knees, chest, and chin. Into the base of the upper chaturanga. And exhale, home to the dog. And breathe. On your next exhale, let's step back to the front of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Hold it here. Let's make sure that back is nice and flat. Keeping the integrity of the spine. Big toes kiss. Heels are about an inch apart, so make sure that's a real inch, not a fisherman's inch. Lengthening through the spine, belly button. Pulling in towards the spine. We want to keep those shoulders back. Head relaxed. You find your bobblehead if that works. And we breathe. Rolling those inner thighs out, making sure those knees are active or soft. Just breathing here. Inhale, halfway lift. Step that right foot all the way back to a lunge position. We're gonna take that left foot and just heel toe it out a little bit. So we're, we've got a little bit wider stance here. Bring both hands to the inside. Eyes looking forward and just sink those hips down. Sink those hips. Beautiful. Really sink even open up that knee if that feels good. And then coming back up to your mind. You want to make sure that front knee is directly over the ankle or behind the ankle to protect the knee. All right, we're going to have a nice strong back leg. You can keep your knee up for this or drop it down. So whatever feels, whatever's going to work best for you right now. So I'm going to keep mine up. And I'm going to really strengthen through that back leg, strengthen through the whole bottom half of the body, and let that upper body float upwards. Again, knee up or knee down. If you've got your knee up, reach the heel back, really strengthening through that back leg. And breathing here. And then we're going to identify that right hand. Give me some jazz hands right there. I wish I could see you. And we're going to take that right hand and drop it straight down to the floor. Look up at the left thumb. And breathe. Again, you can be knee up or knee down, whatever works best for you. So again, I say listen to your body. What does your body need? And bring that left hand back down. Oops. Sorry, pumpkin. And if your knee is down, pop it up because we're going to step that right foot forward. This time we're going to bring our feet so they are hip distance apart. And again, two fists fit right in between those feet. We're going to activate through the spine just like we did before. Legs are active so the knees are soft. Shoulders pulling back and down. Find that bobble head, relax head and neck. Inhales, lengthen the spine. Exhales, lift the sit bones. So kind of switch your perspective. Rather than thinking about going down, think about lifting those sit bones up. And relaxing the head and neck, using that breath. on the ground. We're going to step that left foot all the way back. Heel toe the right foot over. 
Bring both hands to the inside, so just like we did on the front. You might need to slide that left foot back a little bit. Again, we want to make sure that knee in front is directly over the ankle or behind the ankle. And we sink the hips down. Sinking the hips down, opening up that leg if that feels good. <laughs> Looking at front of the mat. So we always want to be real conscious. It's real easy to just let the head hang. We want to be real conscious to keep that head activated. Keep that spine nice and long. Good. And then come back over. And however you did this on the other side, do the same on this side, knee up or knee down. We're going to activate through the legs, nice strong legs, and come all the way up into your crescent warrior. Strong back leg if you've got your knee up. Reaching that heel back and the hamstring pushing up and back. That's your stabilizer, that back leg. And breathe. Shoulders are relaxed. And identify that left hand. Give me some jazz hands. And let's take that left hand all the way down. Right arm up. Look up at that right thigh. Watching the breath. And bring that right hand back down. Nice long body here. If your knee is down, go ahead and pop it up. And we're going to step back to the front of the mat. This time we're going to heel toe those feet all the way out. So the pinky toe and the heel are right on the edge of the mat. So it feels like you might be a little pigeon toe there. So you're here. Lengthening through the spine, coming down, head and neck are relaxed, <clears throat> and breathing. So what we've done here is started with the legs together, moved down midway and all the way out. So we're focusing on the three distinct areas of the hamstrings. So we're using the same techniques. We're breathing, lengthening. On the exhale, lifting those sit bones. Keeping the head and neck relaxed. All right. Placing the fingertips down again if they're not already. We're going to bring those feet back in. So they're about hip distance apart. Bend your knees deep, anchor the tail, pull those shoulders back, inhale, come all the way up to Utkatasana. Powerful pose. So we've got the tail anchored, belly button reaching toward the spine. <sighs> Pinkies reaching toward each other, smile on your face. Easy breathing. Yeah. And inhale deep on the exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, step both feet back. Find the power in the plank. Lower down on purpose and with passion. Watch out. Inhale into your back bend. Exhale, home to the dog. And breathe. Take that right foot all the way forward. We're going to find our way to warrior one. So we're going to make sure those hips are placed forward. Right knee over the right ankle. Left hip reaching forward. Shoulders come down. Arms up. Hands can be together or apart. Whatever feels most natural for you. And we breathe. Once we get into the posture, that's our time to just relax and settle into the breath. And release the hands down. Open up, warrior two, stop. So 
So we're gonna adjust the feet, drop that left hip down, shoulders right over the hips. Make sure that right knee is directly over the ankle. Arms out and looking out across that battlefield. Just filling your heart with that prana. Just visualizing everything you have to do today, everything that's on that battlefield today. Pulling into your body that way of being you get to be in order to handle everything you get to handle today. Who do you get to be today? And right palm up, reach back, reverse warrior, pull it back, keeping that right shoulder low, but opening the right side of the body. So we're creating a lot of space here in preparation for our next posture. So feel the space created here. And then we're gonna go right into Trikonasana or Triangle Pose. So make any adjustments with your feet. Swing those hips back, keep that space. So the hips are swinging back. We've got that space in the right side of the torso as we bring that body down, keeping that space. I like to place my hand here to keep that hip back. So good, and help me keep that opening here. Now I usually go into the posture with my, this hand here like in a half bind. So I'm coming in, keeping my heart center open, keeping the front of the body open. And then I extend out and look up and breathe. Dang it. And breathe. And use that left arm to pull you up. We're gonna bend that knee if you need to caterpillar those toes a little further away. So when we bend that knee, the knee is right over the ankle. So we're going into side ankle pose. So again, we wanna keep that space in the right side of the torso. So dropping the rib cage toward the thigh. You can keep your elbow on your knee, drop your hand down, half bind or a full bind. So however you like to take this posture, do that. And looking back, keeping that spine aligned. Watching the breath. And we're gonna use that left arm to circle it in front of the face. Bring it back up to warrior two. And release in. Bringing all 10 toes in. So we're gonna be slightly pigeon toed here. Bend the knees deep and anchor the tail and fold forward. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. Mm -hmm. So make sure those knees are soft, spine is long. Inhaling, lengthening the spine, exhaling, lifting those sit bones just like we did when the legs were together. And bend the knees deep, place your hands on your knees, inhale, halfway left, exhale here, and inhale, coming all the way. Back up, good. Now we're gonna just pivot and face the back of the mat. Good. So facing the back of the mat. Both hips are facing back. All 10 toes, or the front toes are facing forward, back toes are about 60 degrees. Left knee over the left ankle. So we're going into warrior one, we're going to dress in one. Arms come up together or apart, whatever's most natural for you. Reaching that right hip forward, right hamstring presses back. So we have a really nice circular flow right here. Hip reaching forward, hamstring reaching back. And we breathe here. And we open up to warrior two, adjusting the feet. 
dropping that right hip down, making sure that left knee is over the left ankle, arms come out wide. And we look back past those fingertips out onto that battlefield. Anything for you forgot, bringing up that, that way of being you get to be today to handle everything on that battlefield. Breathing here. Left palm comes up and we reach back, reverse warrior. Reaching back, opening up. Shape. So reverse warrior here. Again, we're creating space in the left side of the torso as we prepare for trikonasana. So we come up and swinging the hips back, reach that left side all the way out, making sure the knees are not locked. So we want to roll those inner thighs out, keeping the legs active, reaching that rib cage out. Again, you can hold the hips back, bringing the hand behind, opening the heart. And then when you get into that comfortable place, you can release the arms, extending them out, looking up at the thumb if that's available to you. And breathing. Keep focusing on reaching that rib cage down. Breathing here. And use that right arm to pull you up. And we're going to caterpillar those legs apart. She thinks my mat is a little buffet table, I think. So I'm walking those left toes out a little bit. We're going to bend that left knee in right over the ankle. However you chose to do it on the other side, do it the same on this side. So again, we're dropping the rib cage down, keeping that same space in the left side of the torso, opening the front of the body. <laughs> and coming into your pose, looking back past that armpit, sinking the rib cage and the hips down, breathing here. And using that right arm, sweep it in front of the face, let it pull you right back up into warrior two. And release. And we're gonna soften those knees, anchor the tail, fold forward, nice and flat back. Find your bobblehead, breathe here a couple of breaths. Then we're gonna place that right hand down on the mat, reach up with the left arm, Breathing here. Nice twist here. So continue to focus on not only the breath, but the breath lengthening the spine all the way to the crown. Switch sides. And come back to center for a couple of neutralizing breaths here. All right, let's bend those knees deep. Place your hands on your knees. Inhale, halfway left. Exhale here. And inhale, come all the way back up. And let's pivot. So we've got all 10 toes facing forward. Feet are going to be about hip distance apart. So take your feet a little bit wider, possibly. And so, we, so it's not like we're standing on a tight wire. We want those hips facing forward. Hands come to the low back, and we're going to bring the shoulder blades together. And bend that left knee, finding a nice front opener here. Again, we're creating space in front of the body here, preparing us to reach forward. So coming up, breathing in, lift the heart and rainbow that heart out over that front leg. So 
coming down. Make sure that front leg is not locked. So we want to activate that leg. Tuck the chin slightly, keeping up spine in its integrity all the way to the crown. You're going to release the hands down. Walk that toe back to see if you can take it a little bit deeper with the support. Using the breath. Both hands down now. And step that right foot straight up in the air. Bend the knee, open up those hips. And let's take the right knee to the right elbow and pause here. I call this lizard pose. Good core strengthener. And then we're going to slide that right knee down to the outside of the right wrist. So that knee is right on the edge of the mat. Slide those toes back. And just sink the hip in. Opening the heart. Kind of get settled. So both hips are facing straight ahead, square with the front of the mat. Right knees on the edge of the mat. So we want that knee wider than the hips. Going into this hip opener. So if this is your pose, this is perfect. If you can fold forward, taking it a little bit deeper into the hips. Go ahead and all the way down. into our deep stretches, begin to focus on the exhales, just allowing those exhales to, to be the release, to be the release, and to release the tension. And yeah, let's come all the way back up, both hands down on the mat, tuck those left toes, go straight back. Right foot's down, left foot comes up, and we're going to step that left foot forward. Bringing yourself all the way up, both hips facing forward. And straight legs, bend that back leg, hands on the low back, and creating the space in the front side of the body. Lift the heart, rainbow that heart forward, and come all the way down. Both hands come down. Down, step that up, foot all the way up. Open it up. And let's bring the left knee to the left elbow. Breathing here. And slide that knee down to the outside of the knee or the wrist. And up. Right leg is parallel to the side of the mat. As we settle in, just breathing here, continuing to create space in the front side of the body. And then we're going to slowly lower down if that's available to you. I've got a nice down pillow here. Put that 
kisses. You got kisses for me. Just again, bringing in those exhales. Tuck those back toes, come back, and both feet down in your downward facing dog. Take a breath here. And we'll step forward, bringing the legs out in front. Grab your tush, walk the sit bones back. And fold forward here and pop in. Nice. Keeping that back nice and flat, keeping the legs active. And come up. So bring the knees up. And using the hands on the knees, we're going to roll back and forth. Back and forth and all the way down, keeping the knees into the chest, arms out to the side, palms face down, drop the knees to one side, eyes look to the opposite side. And switch sides. back to center, extending the legs, arms at your side, Shavasana, our final resting pose, palms are face up, just get comfortable and just allow yourself to breathe here. Allow your breathing to deepen. And gently begin to move and stretch the body in preparation for sitting up. Bringing yourself back to a seated position, completing our circle this morning. Uh, th thank you for coming. If you enjoyed the class, please comment below. And a little announcement, this will be the um, final week I'm doing Facebook Lives. I'm going to be shifting everything else over to um, my platform, go going to Zoom, basically. And so I'll be having um, more information and links so you can register for class. It'll basically be close to the same schedule and classes I'm teaching but you'll just register for Zoom, and um, this way it's, it's just a little bit more 
more formalized. Um, yeah, so I'm excited about that. So we'll start that on Sunday the 12th is when we start going um, with the details. And that way I can see you. I can make sure you're doing things safely. Forgive my dog bird. And um, you all have a brilliant day today. Namaste, y'all.